आचार्य जी प्रणाम वॉट वी आर इज द माइंड डिंग ऑलवेज इन फियर एंड डिजायर माइंड इज ऑलवेज अ फ्रेड ऑफ इट्स डेथ एज अ डील फॉर लव टू फ्लार बट एट द सेम टाइम द माइंड अल्टीमेट डिजायर इज लव काइंडली इलेबोरेट दैट्स द ह्यूमन कंडीशन सत्यम दैट्स द ह्यूमन कंडीशन You have to see that all mental states are one. It doesn't matter what the mind wants. It doesn't matter which direction it chooses to go. it doesn't matter whether it is burning in jealousy or burning with affection it doesn't matter whether you call the mental state as positive or negative all mental states can be called by just one name love greed is love fear is love jealousy is love disgust is love violence is love separation is love all mental states are nothing but different ways of describing your separation from the source from the lord from the center from god from truth so no matter what name you assign to that i get it so these various statements that you are looking that you have that you have quoted or wrote down are all pointing in the same direction let not vocabulary confuse you the difference in the different mental states is just at the level of description words are causing you to think that sometimes you are afraid and sometimes you are not when you are afraid it is because you think you will not be able to meet him when you are not afraid then it is because you think that not being afraid will take you to him in either of the situations your target your desire is just for him then you should ask if all goodness and all badness is just the same and differs only in name the difference is only at the level of words then why should one be good at all then you should say that why should one follow spirituality why not just remain worldly because acharya ji you are saying that all desires are just for him then why should i not pursue my carnal desires why should i not pursue money and prestige and possessions if even they are going to lead me to the same end you may do that but you have to factor in who you are i have said that it doesn't matter what the color flavor name direction of the desire is all desire is actually for the one only so i'm saying your question should be then why should we reject certain desires 
I'm saying to get the answer to your question, you have to look at your mortal condition. You are mortal, which means you have limited time. Even when you are using the GPS, it often suggests multiple routes to a particular destination. All of the routes are valid routes. I'm saying take any route and you will reach the same place. Even if you decide to stuff your life with material possessions, money, furniture, bungalows, property, car, real estate, whatever. You would reach there. But which route do you choose when the GPS shows you five competing routes? You choose the shortest route. So spirituality is not the only route to God. If somebody says spirituality is the only route to God, then he does not understand the mind. Spirituality is one of the routes to God. It is just the shortest route. And the fact that it is the shortest route is very, very important because you are mortal, because your time is limited. There are five routes from your place to the airport. If you do not choose the shortest one, there is a great chance that you'll miss the flight. Satyam, do not miss the flight. There is the path of fear, there is the path of desire and then there is the path of love. Same path. Same path in the sense that same destination is there. Now make the right choice. Hmm?